We are learning that Tesla fully repaid a $614 million loan for the construction of Giga Shanghai. In this report, I will also provide a uh, update on Tesla's 4680 battery cell production, which is going to happen hopefully next year. And also we're learning that Tesla revealed it is spending drastically more money on research and development. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, like this video and share social media that will help us tremendously so eva fox is reporting from the tasmanian that tesla's china factory the company's first car manufacturing plant outside of united states is central to uh, its ambition to increase sales in the world's largest auto market in china with the support of the local government tesla received loans for construction to date the company has fully repaid its 614 million dollar loan for shanghai gigafactory it's interesting and also very good to hear that because tesla shouldn't have problem with cash with its stock and the cash and that he has been making from automotive sales very successfully with a stake in giga shanghai tesla sought to quickly build a factory to start selling cars in the world's largest car market as quickly as possible and for this the company took out a loan the shanghai government has backed the project which is china's first wholly foreign owner car factory in a form 10q filed with the securities and exchange commission uh, sec on april 27th yesterday tesla stated that it had fully repaid a 614 million dollar loan intake for the construction of the giga shanghai giga factory here's a quote from that in April 2021, we fully repaid the $614 million in aggregate principal of our secure term loan facility in connection with the construction of Gigafactory Shanghai, the fixed asset facility, and the facility was terminated. After the termination of the contract, the unused $758 million under the fixed asset credit included in the company's debt and financial lease labels will no longer be usable. Here's a quote about that. After the termination, the $758 million of unused uh, commitment under the fixed asset facility included in the debt and financial lease table as of March 31, 2021, above was no longer available. So what do you think, friends? Let me know if you are happy about Tesla fully paying off the $614 million for the construction of Gigafactory Shanghai. We're also ex learning that Tesla expects to reach mass production of its full 680 battery cell next year. Again, Eva Fox has the details from Tasmanian saying Tesla introduced the 4680 battery cell seven months ago and has already made great strides in preparing for mass production. Elon Musk said the company is optimistic about this happening in 2022. Uh, remember last year in September 20th uh, during the Tesla battery days that Tesla introduced the 4680 battery cells and and it's going to be more advanced batteries that are currently being used in Tesla with more range and more density and so far. So at the moment, Tesla has a small production line of the new battery cells in Fremont. The test line, a small battery factory, is already sizable compared to usual standards. The company expects it to achieve a production capacity of 10 gigawatt hours per year in 2021. During the Q1 2021 earnings call, Tesla CEO Elon Musk reported that the company has made quite a few sales, but has not yet come to the point where they are reliable enough to be shipped in cars. Nevertheless, Tesla is already approaching this point, which is a great sign. So hopefully we will see that coming soon. Musk said... Um, that Tesla has already ordered most of the battery manufacturing equipment in Berlin, which shows the company is optimistic about the timeline. He said the company is preparing to begin volume production of 4680 battery cells in 2022. Here is what exactly Elon Musk said. 
We are not quite yet at the point where we think the sales are reliable enough to be shipped in cars, but we are getting close to that point. And then we have already ordered most of the equipment for battery production in Berlin and then electric for Austin as well. Uh, so we are really down to the nitty gritty on this, but overall, I think we are still quite optimistic about achieving volume production of the 4680 battery next year. That means in 2022. Now, Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkhorn emphasized that the transition from prototype to production is a truly difficult task. Of course it is, but at the moment, the company Tesla has already matured the process equipment to achieve the required level on the yield side. All things considered, Elon Musk said Tesla will be ready to start volume production of 4680 battery cells in 12 to 18 months, which means that it will happen around mid-2022. Despite Tesla's success in developing and starting production of new cells, the company continues to incentivize uh, its battery suppliers to increase production and supply. And basically, this is just a guess because we don't know for sure, but it appears as though we are able, uh, we're about 12, probably not more than 18 months away from volume production of the 4680. Now, at the same time, we are actually trying to have our cell supply partners ramp up their supply as much as possible. So this is not something that is the, to the exclusion of suppliers and it is congest uh, congestion with suppliers. So friends, what do you think about battery supplies and the 4680 battery supplies? When do you think this may happen and when do you think Tesla can do it? Now, on another news, we're also learning that Tesla reveals it is spending drastically more money on research and development. Before I continue, with this please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and also please uh, share in social media and give us thumbs up like and also we're uh, hiring tesla reporters if anyone interested please contact me so joey klender from tesla radi has some details saying tesla is spending drastically more money on research and development for its vehicles and other technologies like battery cell development it revealed in a 10q filing with the uh, sec you see there is a lot of news today regarding thank you filing however the most expensive portion of the increase in research and development expenditures come from drastic growth in employee and labor related expenses as tesla's workforce continues to grow still the redesign of the model s and model x along with the development of proprietary battery cells uh, also contributed to the exponential growth in money spent. Tesla is one of the fastest growing companies in the world. It is already the most valuable car company in existence. And as the electric automaker expands its footprint to other countries and regions, it is hiring a vast number of new people to handle any responsibility. From executives to production workers, Tesla is hiring in nearly every facet of its business and its expenses are growing as a result because Tesla has to hire companies to do the hiring for them. So it involves a lot of research and development. Expenses in research and development increased $342 million or 106% in quarter one 2021 compared to quarter one 2020. Tesla attributes the increase in research and development costs to a growth in the employee workforce, including anything from more people working at the company to an appreciation of the stock price. Now consider Tesla is building two gigafactories right now and uh, Tesla needs workers actively hiring in gigafactory Berlin and also soon will start active hiring in gigafactory Texas. So here's what Tesla wrote. R&D expenses increased 342 million or 106% in the three months ended March 31, 2021. As compared to the three months ended March 31, 2020, the increase was primarily due to a $147 million increase in employee and labor related expenses due to an increase in headcount and increased payroll taxes related to appreciation of our stock price. Earlier this month, we re uh, Tesla, Tesla Radio reported that Tesla's workforce had grown consistently according to the 10K filing it released with the um, uh, SEC. The workforce 
increased by 2020 uh, 22,000 the workforce increased by 2000 I'm sorry the workforce increased by 22,651 total full employees in 2020 compared to 2019 and the number continues to expand as Tesla opens more factories, service centers and showroom locations globally. See, the workforce grows not only because the gigafactories, but also the growth of service centers but that are very much important and a lot of Tesla owners call for more service centers. So past the increased workforce and overall company growth, a significant amount of money was pumped into expensed materials. Uh, these expenditures contributed to the expanding product roadmap, which included the redesigned and refreshed Model S and Model X, along with the 4680 battery cell project that Tesla has been working on. Now, Tesla recorded a 122 million increase in research and development exp expensed materials and outside services, and a 60 million increase in stock-based compensation expenses. The percentage of expenses due to the increased revenue increased from 5 to 6% year over year. Tesla has shown it funnels plenty of money into its products and aims to improve product functionality through internal expenditures. For years, Elon Musk has stood by his strategy not to hold a budget for advertising, but instead funnel the money into the product itself. Other companies spend money on advertising and manipulating public opinion. Tesla focuses on the product, Musk said recently. So friends, let me know a lot of interesting thing on its uh, recent SEC filing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel, share in social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and others. And also give us thumbs up if you like this video and found it informative. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. See you soon in our next video report. God bless you everyone and peace be with all of you.